Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to explain the roles of thyroxine and adrenaline in the body. You should then be able to explain how thyroxine levels are controlled by negative feedback. And all of this is for higher tier students only. In a recent video we looked at the endocrine system. We saw that hormones are chemicals released directly into the bloodstream by glands. These hormones then cause an effect in specific target organs. Now two of the glands are the adrenal glands and the thyroid gland, and we're going to be looking at those in this video. The adrenal glands are located at the top of the kidneys. During times of fear or stress, the adrenal glands produce the hormone adrenaline. The adrenaline is released into the blood. One of the main effects of adrenaline is to increase the heart rate. Because the heart's beating faster, more oxygen and glucose are delivered in the blood to the brain and the muscles. Both oxygen and glucose are needed for aerobic respiration. This prepares the body to either fight or run away. Scientists call this fight or flight. The thyroid gland is found in the base of the neck, and this releases the hormone thyroxine. Thyroxine has two main effects. Firstly, thyroxine stimulates the body's basal metabolic rate. And remember that metabolism is the sum of all the reactions in a cell or the body. So in other words, thyroxine makes the body's chemical reactions take place at a faster rate. Secondly, thyroxine plays an important role in growth and in development. Now the level of thyroxine in the blood is controlled by negative feedback, so we're going to look at that now. I should point out that you're not required to learn the specific negative feedback system for thyroxine. However, you are meant to understand the general idea behind negative feedback. The level of thyroxine in the blood is monitored by the brain. When the thyroxine level falls, the pituitary gland releases the hormone TSH into the bloodstream. TSH triggers the thyroid gland to release more thyroxine into the blood. The increased level of thyroxine is now detected by the brain, and this now prevents the pituitary gland from releasing TSH. As the TSH level falls, the thyroid gland releases less thyroxine. So as you can see, if the level of thyroxine falls, events are triggered which cause the level of thyroxine to increase. And if the level of thyroxine becomes too high, events are triggered to bring it back down. Scientists call this a negative feedback cycle. There are many negative feedback cycles in the human body, for example in the control of blood glucose and in the menstrual cycle. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the adrenal glands, the thyroid gland and on negative feedback in my vision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above.